The effects of what is happening right now in the Bay Area housing market will be felt for years, if not decades to come. For over a year now, the Bay Area housing market has been on a seemingly exponential climb. Month after month after month, seeing growth and growth and growth in almost every single Bay Area county. And the question on everyone's mind is, when is the carnage going to end? When is it going to stop? And if you've been watching any of my videos, you'll know that the answer is not anytime soon. And so we're gonna show the numbers today and really go over why this is happening. But before we get into the data, if you're a home buyer in today's marketplace and you're looking for a comprehensive data set to help you in your home buying decision process, now it's super important to make sure that you're studying those numbers. You can text the word data plus the zip code or the area or the neighborhood that you are looking in to the number down below and we will send that report straight to your email inbox. And if you're a home seller and you're trying to figure out how to price your property appropriately, uh, now more than ever, pricing strategies matter in this market. Market. buyers are looking at homes and they're looking at them that are at homes that are way under what they can actually afford because they are programmed right now to pay way over list price and so understanding the appropriate pricing strategy is very important for home sellers and so if you're looking for a data set to help you with that you can text the word data plus your property address to the number down below and we will send that straight to your inbox as an active buyer or seller in today's marketplace it can be very difficult to comprehend exactly what's going on and you hear things like we have no homes on the market we have low inventory you hear things like there is so much demand or you hear things like interest rates are so low and that's what's driving the housing market and by the way all all of those are true, but you really have to understand the numbers in order to make sense of everything that's going on. And so that's exactly what we're going to do right now, starting with Santa Clara County. In the Santa Clara County marketplace, we are seeing ridiculous numbers right now to the point where in a lot of ways, it's, it's nonsensical what is happening in the Santa Clara County marketplace, not just Santa Clara County, but practically every single county in the Bay Area. This is not a unique thing to Santa Clara County. It's happening everywhere in the Bay Area. Starting off with Santa Clara, we're seeing month to date, year over year, a negative 19.5% decrease in inventory levels. The pending sales are practically the same month to date, year over year, which means that if you look at the July metrics up until this point, you're seeing that inventory levels are down pretty significantly year over year. The amount of buyers out there, the pending sales are practically even in Santa Clara County. And so the narrative last month and, and some of the previous months has been that pending sales have been uh, over what we were uh, seeing in previous months. And so right now we're starting to see a neutralization, a stabilization in pending sales. Now, obviously this is one month, a few months ago, uh, inventory levels were up year over year. And so it's important to keep an eye on this to make sure that this doesn't become a trend. One month doesn't necessarily mean that pending sales are gonna start falling and falling and falling, but it is something to keep an eye on right now the low inventory in Santa Clara County is what's driving the market. Flipping over to San Mateo County, we're seeing the exact same narrative play out where inventory levels are down over 30%, 32.9% to be exact. Now, pending sales are up just 2.2%. So we're seeing practically a stabilization month to date, year over year, which essentially means for those of you watching at home that don't understand this, is that up until the middle of July, which we're at right now, we're seeing way less homes on the market in comparison to last year and about the same number of homes going pending, which means demand year over year is staying relatively stable while inventory levels are dropping. What does this do to prices? It puts upwards pressure on prices. A negative 30% drop in inventory levels does not go unfelt. And that is exactly what's happening to buyers right now in the marketplace. They are not necessarily competing against more buyers. They just have way less to choose from. And this narrative changes from time to time. A few months ago, the inventory levels were a little bit higher and the pending sales were a little bit uh, were a little bit lower. And that just meant that inventory levels were fairly neutral and it was pending sales that were way up, meaning there were way more buyers and about the same number of houses. And that narrative has since 
changed a little bit. And so it's important to look at these trends, but it's, it's this incredibly complex cat and mouse game where buyers see that there's more homes on the market. And so we start to see more buyers in the marketplace, then the inventory levels withdraw a little bit. And so it's this weird cat and mouse game where we are seeing really just a, a, a very interesting like ebb and flow in demand and inventory levels. And the problem is for anyone who's buying right now, especially is that it's never in the buyer's favor. It's always skewing in the favor of the home sellers in these marketplaces. Flipping over to San Benito County, interestingly enough, we are seeing a dip in inventory levels and in pending sales. Let's keep an eye on this as we move into August, September, the brunt of the fall market, because if these trends continue, uh, obviously inventory levels being lower than they were at this time last year doesn't help the marketplace at all if you're a home buyer. But if pending sales start to drop dramatically, then this could bring a stabilization into the San Benito County marketplace. But we are still seeing way too few homes on the market in San Benito County in comparison to last year for us to declare that the market is neutralizing. In fact, the market there is incredibly hot. You're seeing pending sales outpace inventory levels 71 to 64, meaning there are 71 homes pending in the month of June and only 64 that were on the market. So we are still seeing an absorption rate of over 100%, which is an incredibly white hot sellers market. So even though comparatively to last year, we're starting to see maybe a slight slowing of the market, there's still so much buffer there that it's going relatively unfelt by the buyers and sellers in San Benito County. But let's keep an eye on those pending sales and see how that narrative plays out over the next couple of months. Now we come over to San Francisco and San Francisco, if you've been watching my videos for any period of time, you'll know has been in a funk. And these last few months have brought stability to that marketplace. And I do believe that we're gonna continue to see that stability. The great news for any home seller or home owner in San Francisco is that you're seeing a relatively stable amount of inventory levels month over month over month as we move through the spring and, and uh, summer of 2021. And we're seeing a relatively stable amount of pending sales. And so the buyers are pretty much in place and the sellers are pretty much in place. So we're starting to see just a stabilization in that marketplace. Right now, the for sale inventory is down over 36% year over year, but that's a good thing, especially if you're a seller because you're looking at the numbers from last year at this time and, and you're just seeing like these sky high, sky high inventory levels. Everyone was getting out of Dodge. Everyone didn't wanna be in the city during COVID. And now we're starting to see a resurgence in the activity levels in San Francisco. And I do believe that we're gonna see an incredibly strong 2022 out of that marketplace. So if you're an investor, you're trying to figure out where to park your money right now, best place, San Francisco. Now, flipping over to Contra Costa County, we're seeing dips in inventory levels and in pending sales month to date, year over year. That being said, we have 1,483 homes pending right now versus 869 homes on the market. You do the math there. We have nearly double the amount of homes that are pending right now that are currently on the market. What does that do to prices? I mean, they have nowhere to go but up. And so even though we're seeing a slight dip in pending sales month to date, year over year, that is going completely unfelt by the marketplace in Contra Costa County. Because at the beginning of last year, we were just starting to see that market take off. And now that we've had 12 consistent months of just ludicrousness, is that even a word? Ludicrousness in Contra Costa County. I mean, it's, it's nuts what's going on there right now. And so the fact that we're seeing such a strong summer market out of Contra Costa County, I would have expected by now to see a slight slowdown in that marketplace, but everything is continuing full steam ahead. And the fact that we have 15% less homes on the market than we did at this same time last year, just coming out of COVID, now we have less. I don't get it. Like, where are all the home sellers? And, and, and as, a, as a real estate expert, I gotta say, I'm stumped. I don't know why people aren't selling their homes right now. Because there's a lot of pent up inventory 
There's a lot of people that we're planning on selling over these last 18 months or so that didn't sell. Where are those people? And when are they coming out of the woodwork to sell their homes? Because I just, there's no rhyme or reason to what's going on right now. These numbers are mind boggling. And when you look at Alameda County, it's the same story. It's literally the same narrative. We have nearly double, about one and a half times the number of uh, homes pending as we do for sale, 1,479 in June versus 924 active homes. So month to date, we have a 16% drop in inventory levels. So again, same thing as Contra Costa County, as low as the inventory levels were even a year ago, we are seeing inventory levels even lower than that. And the pending sales are relatively flat. And so we're seeing consistently strong buyer demand in these marketplaces. And it's tough to say, it's really tough to say when this is going to end. But especially if you look at the numbers in Santa Clara County and Contra Costa and Alameda, there is so much buffer there between pending sales and active inventory that it would literally take an act of God to bring stability to that marketplace at this point in a, harp, in a halt. It could happen over the course of six to 12 months and that's why you keep watching these videos is to see what, what's happening with the trends. Are we seeing a reverse a reversing of the current trends. And right now the answer is things are pretty stable. Things aren't going anywhere anytime soon. In fact, we're seeing inventory levels come back withdraw from where they were even a year ago in most of these marketplaces, which is absolutely insane. And so if you're sitting at home and asking yourself, well, honey, like is now the right time to buy? The effects of what are going on right now will be felt for years to come in the Silicon Valley and Bay Area housing market. Run up in pricing right now will be so large in comparison to what we experienced probably in the later part of 2020s. This is probably going to go down as one of the singularly largest housing price run ups in the history of housing prices. Will they come back down to where they are today? Probably not. Probably not. Just based on how much velocity the market has right now. You just have to think about this, like how much velocity does the marketplace have right now? The buyers who are buying can afford it. The velocity is such that in six to 12 months, the prices will be way higher than where they are right now. And even if we do dip, we're talking a dip of five to 10%, the appreciation that we experience over the next 12 months will likely surpass that. And so when you're, uh, trying to make a decision and you're looking at these numbers, this should, if, if you're on the fence, should, should startle you into action. And if you're a home seller, I mean, my gosh, I mean, th th there's never been a better time to sell your house. And it's hard to say if there ever will be a, a better time. Uh, obviously, timing is everything. And if you could time the absolute peak, 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 peak before things take a tumble, well, we'd all, you know, you, you wouldn't be in the position that you're at, you're, you'd be a fortune teller. So it's hard for me to say or declare with any degree of certainty when that's going to happen. But when the going's good and you're in that mindset that you're gonna sell, it's tough to justify not doing it. This fall is going to be insane for Anyone that is seeing these numbers right now, this is a public declaration of 100% confidence that the market is going to soar in the Bay Area. And we're going to see prices continue to climb and climb and climb. And those that don't act, I honestly believe could get left behind. If you're and not in the sense that you could never ever buy a house ever again, but from the sense that I've been in this business long enough to see people get priced out of certain areas. They wanna buy in X city or X suburbia or X community. And over the course of a year, they sit there and they fiddle and they twiddle their thumbs and they continue to say the same thing. I'll wait, I'll wait, I'll wait, I'll wait. And they wait until the market no longer that they desired is no longer within their grasp, is no longer within their reach. And this is a, a, a haunting reality of our market. And I've never seen 
I've never seen numbers like this. This is ridiculous what is happening right now. I've no words to describe it other than that. And so that's what I'm going to leave you folks with today. Again, if you're a home buyer in today's marketplace, you're looking for a data set to help you with your decision making process in the area or zip code or neighborhood that you're looking in, you can text the word data plus the zip code area neighborhood that you're looking in. We will send that data straight to your inbox. And if you're a home seller in today's marketplace and you're looking for a comprehensive data set to help you price your property or to help you understand what it is that you need to do in order to maximize your home's value. You can text the word data plus your property address and we'll send that straight to your inbox. This is Danny Gould, everyone, with the Selling Silicon Valley Group and I will catch all of you in the next video.